Creating affordable housing in PNG's urban centers is a complicated and challenging task, considering the large number of squatters on state land, land ownership issues, the connection of utilities and reticulation on the land itself. Lands Minister John Rosso said this is why the department will be entering into a partnership with Nest Fund, Number One Super and Comrade Trustee Services to avail land for titles to be issued to public servants, tax-paying citizens and super fund members. Hopefully by the end of this year or early next year we should be able to announce a partnership moving forward with the aim of trying to, my personal aim, a government policy to ensure that uh, a holistic approach is done to make 5,000 allotments available for public servants and uh, not just public servants, but all our people working in our towns and urban areas. Rosso said they are targeting affordable urban housing as most taxpayers live in settlements due to unregulated costly rental fees. A lot of them can't afford to go to the banks and get uh, dinars or uh, they, they just can't afford it. The housing price for a block of land and a house in Port Moresby is between four to 500,000 kina. We're trying to bring it down to about the 250, 300,000 kina level or even lower. Nest Fund CEO Ian Tarutia said the issue discussed was critical considering the superannuation funds have contributors that are in excess of 800,000 workers. The contentious issue all the time that we are always faced with is, uh, is homes and importantly affordable homes. But it requires all stakeholders. It's not just... Uh, uh, one uh, institution or, or one um, uh, department to, to get something of this magnitude uh, working. Tarotia said they look forward to continuing discussions with the government. Kamela Guare, TV1 News.